five to squash leader over. Go ahead. Over. Got some possible vine borer larva infestation. See some frass on one of the vines. I'm gonna open it up. Doesn't look like a lot, so if there's one in here, it's probably a small one. Over. Roger that. Proceed with caution. to squash leader over. Go ahead. Over. Vine borer larva confirmed. Initiating pest extraction. Roger that. Remember when you're cutting the vines open, try to avoid cutting across the vine. Always make your incisions with the vine. That way you'll do less damage. There's a close-up of a young larva. It's really important to get these things out as quickly as possible. The longer they're in the vine, the more damage they could do and the more chance the vine won't survive. Gardner 5 to squash leader, over. Go ahead, over. Vine borer larva confirmed, and it's a nasty one. Initiating pest extraction. Roger that. Man, you are a nasty one. And your day just got a lot worse. Gardner 5 to squash leader, over. Go ahead, over. Borer larva extraction complete. Preparing for vine wrap and repair. you'll want to make sure that the vine is completely clear of all the larva before you wrap it. Some sources will tell you to simply bury the vine and you're done. I prefer to go ahead and wrap it. That way it's more stable. Keeping it above ground allows you to look for further eggs if they're laid. But if you bury it, it has the chance of regrowing new roots. But if you discover eggs, on either side of the buried area, you're going to have to probably pull the vine back up again. So it's really your call on what you do and how you treat it. The important thing is to just stay on it. Gardner 5 to squash leader, over. Go ahead, over. Vine wrap and repair completed, over. Roger that. Report back to forward operating base, security point delta.